Welcome back to another episode of Henry TV. I am your host, 22 Plankster, and I have the long anticipated Henry Frontier threaded model. Now, this particular one is in the 22 long rifle, and I have a 22 Magnum over there that I'm going to show you here in just a minute. But this rifle is amazing. It's quiet and it's extremely accurate. Let me shoot it a few times and I will tell you a little bit more about it. Go across the creek. All right. All right. It's a very good shooter. Now, let me give you some specs on this setup. For a long time, people have wanted Henry repeating arms to thread some of their rifles. Now, they're starting off with these 22 long rifles and a 22 Magnum that I mentioned before. But the cool thing about, you know, threading a lever gun and a bolt gun is that you can get them super, super quiet. I'm just firing regular CCI standard velocity ammo and you heard how quiet those rounds were. Basically, you heard the hammer falling and also the bullet impacting the target downrange. I'm running a Silencer Co. Sparrow on here and I've used this uh, particular suppressor on a lot of my setups. But Henry finally started threading some of their firearms. Henry just didn't thread the 24 inch Frontier model. What they did is they kept the 24 inch barrel and they threaded it, but they also went with the mare's leg magazine tube. This is the same magazine tube that you'll find on your 22 long rifle mare's leg. It holds 10 rounds of 22 long rifle. And the reason why they did that, if they kept the standard tube magazine in there, you would not be able to lift the magazine up and over the suppressor. You would have to take the suppressor off to be able to load the tube magazine. But putting the mare's leg tube uh, style on here, you can lift it up and take it right out without the suppressor interfering when loading the tube magazine. The cool thing about lever guns is the versatility of ammo that you can put through them. Before I was shooting some CCI standard velocity ammo, that ammo was traveling at 1,070 feet per second and it kept it really, really quiet. Um, you can put 10 rounds, like I mentioned before, in this tube magazine. Now, with the CCI uh, shorts, you know, shooting 22 shorts that this rifle will also feed, it will hold 15. Now, this ammo a shoots a little bit faster, okay, at about, uh, about 1,105 feet per second. So, you'll probably get a little bit of crack at each and every one of these shots. So, I've got 15 rounds in here. Let's do some shooting. Yeah, you can hear that crack of that bullet. So that was 15 rounds. Now it's right on the bubble of that 1100 feet per second when things go crack out of a particular rifle or a pistol. So now let's grab this 22 Magnum and I go ahead and tell you it's probably my favorite one to shoot. Now I have the 22 Mag in my hands. Now I'm running the same can on here, the Silencer Co. Sparrow, and this can is rated for 22 Magnum and also 17 HMR. Now, if you own a rimfire can and you want to put it on a 22 Magnum, make sure you check and see if the can is rated for a 22 Magnum. Now, unlike the 22 long rifle version, which held 10 rounds in the tube magazine, this one, since a 22 mag is much longer, only holds eight rounds. But let me tell you, this rifle was extremely accurate. All right, and it pops a whole lot more punch. Go at a hundred yards. There we go. All right, eight rounds of 22 Magnum. I really, really enjoy shooting these particular setups. Now, the 24 inch threaded barrels and the mare's leg two magazines, which allow you to take these things off very easily and load um, more rounds into these two magazines is a brilliant idea. It's a lot better than threading your own Henry where you have to take the suppressor off or get a quick disconnect 
for your suppressor each and every time you want to load it. Guys, thank you very much for watching another episode of Henry TV. If you have any questions, you can put them in the comments below or go over to the Facebook page and ask them there. And remember, if it's not made in America, it's not going to be made at all.